We'll play one of the War Tale missions to get her some levels first. Oh, uh, I need to be level 12. Ooh. Seven, six. Drop zone mission. Okay, well, well, we need to level her up a little bit, and then... And then let's go. We'll get her some gear and some level ups. We've identified a name facility that is vulnerable to attack. Though there are still security synthoids to contend with, we expect the Avengers should be able to easily prevail. Take out any aim forces you encounter. This is cool. So these are... Time for a fight. If you play single player, AI heroes come into the game. That you gear up and spec and level up and stuff. Head for the location on your heart. But if you want to, you can play four player co-op. And what they do is when you match make, there won't be any dual heroes. So there only, if you play as Black Widow, there won't be another Black Widow. So that way you feel special. Might as well Which I think is awesome. There, I can't loot it though. Let's take them out. Oh, okay, they got it. It's not good. Because she needs gear. That's gonna be cool when you unlock like legendary skins and stuff that you can bring the heroes in with the armor, cosmetic armor sets that you unlocked. So you can see them as you work on each character. I like little things like that, where I can see the things I've unlocked. Oh, nothing there. She's very agile, damn. She moves real fast. All right, back up. Is there a chest in there? Level one, and she has no gear. He definitely tells an RPG based on damage. Take down. Feels weird that she could take that thing on. These fights are chaos when you got four players. So red's unblockable. Oh, 
so they can't see her at all when she's dealt. Yeah, she's like super soldier. Got a lot of enemy riding too. She's actually kind of. I thought she'd be boring, but she's got. Here's an energy boost. But she's actually pretty fun. I like it. And she feels different from the other ones. Is that it? Oh, those missions are fast. Um, no, they, um, your damage is gear based, so as you level up your gear and get better nice gear. Work, Avengers. This won't be the last time we, we will get stronger. The Ames forces, but this should significantly weaken their capabilities. Who's that? That was pretty average, nothing crazy. Wait, why am I getting matchmaked? How do there we go. Yes, leave strike two. I Keeps turning that. I must have hit the button on accident. Keep, uh, keep knocking out my power. Hey, Tifa. Uh, she, she keeps yanking out my cable. Yeah, and that's, she's a level one character. Like, we'll unlock more things with her over time. All right, so let's select another mission. I'll equip my gear as soon as I go to the next one. So drop missions are like real fast, get some loot really quickly. Assault drop zone. Must assault, aim target, take out swiftly, efficiently, good chub jump, come home. Uh, condition green. Jarvis detected radio gamma coming from the remote aim. The Hulk is tasked with investigating his readings, stopping whatever ha aim has planned. Oh, some of these are character specific. Like this one has to be Hulk. Do Dominion drop zone. Elimination drop zone. All right, we'll try this one. Yeah, I'll do that again. These drop zones are real fast. Intel provided by our friends at SHIELD has revealed the location of an elite AIM squad. We have an opportunity to take them out before AIM can deploy the squad against the resistance. This is a quick hit and run operation. Take out the targets and return to us unharmed if possible. This should be fun. Oh, we still haven't, I don't think I saw her ultimate yet. So we gotta check that one out. An elite aimed. All right, so did she get some gear? She got one mediocre upgrade. <laughs> okay, they're not great. Team is close by and on alert. Updating your HUD. <laughs> gotta look for loot because she is kind of weak. All right. Who's first? All right. Ow. Finisher! Enemy down. I wonder what determines when 
you get to do a finisher now. Careful. Got her. I would like to find some more loot, please. You got all this stuff. Nice start, I know. Well, I think about it, they're superheroes, so if something doesn't have super heroic strength, it's not going to be much of a challenge for just regular dudes. Does this game look better in your Every screen? Of the elite team it's real muddy. Defeated. The game is quite muddy. I think it's low res on PS4. Take that! One of their agents is down. I got one. Oh, what is that thing? Watch it. Her ultimate is cool. I don't know what that thing was, but it looked badass. Excellent. Another agent down. Her takedowns are fantastic. Squad member has been neutralized. Another enemy defeated. Watch it. The team are no longer a threat. I'm not sure if your heroes level with you, if they're any experience or not. I know you are. I don't know if your heroes who are companions earn experience. Yeah, the drop missions Don't are real fast and real grindy for getting this the victory. Stuff. You've weakened aim and given the resistance a leg up. Keep it up. Uh, we're doing the non story missions. These are like the drop zone missions. I'll see if they have longer missions. The war tables where you get your randomly generated quests. Well, let's try Dominion Drop Zone. See what that one is. Uh, there's campaign levels too, so. <clears throat> Ooh, don't. Don't match make me. The Resistance has discovered a Terrigen research lab where AIM has been conducting experiments on inhumans. We'd like to get hold of any materials they've been using in their research. But first, we must gain access to Ames' laboratory pods. Defend the lab's main access point while I hack into their system. Warning, this area will be well defended. It keeps auto-enabling matchmaking. Fun. Okay, we, we leveled up and we got some gear, so I'll put that on real fast. We'll need to take control. So single player should pause the game when I go in this menu. Let's see, skill. Mid-air, perform a heavy baton slam. Uh, press after quickly dodging, executing a whirling kick. I'll go with that one. Of their systems. Get me to the location on your HUD. And remember, uh, this each hero will have three skill trees. This is just one of them. 
So on when beta launches, you'll be able to choose between three different skill trees. So it's not just this one. There are three other whole different trees for each character, which will unlock a lot of options. It may earn, end up being where like only one's like the good one, but for right now, it's nice having those options though. By spin attacks, I've seen the same thing. <laughs> Patience, you're next. Oh, rocket launcher. Damn you. Ow, that hurt. How about I hurt you now? Oh, I just used my ultimate. Damn it, I hate when that happens. Grab all the loot again. Why is it all the enemies dead when you use your ultimate every time? Or in Overwatch, all the enemies are gone and you're nowhere near you. So you know their kill room. So these drop missions are real fast. Get in, get out, take some get time. loot. Keep the area clear, but stay in range of the control point. Oh no, I have to stay in this. This mission will be better with teammates who can alternate being in the circle. Oh, they're in there. I can move away. Keep the area free of hostiles. I wonder how Spider Man's gonna control. You can like juggle the enemy constantly. Time your attacks right. Ah, oh, the recoil. I'm almost done. Hang in there. Oh wait, that makes your teammates go invisible too. It's AOE. An artist online only. That was okay. Well done. 
The resistance now has access to the research pods in this laboratory. With any luck, we can ascertain new information on their inhuman research project and hopefully use it to protect more of our people. Yeah, that's it. These are the like the missions you grind again and again and again to get loot and stuff like in all your action RPGs like Warframe and stuff. It's not one of the story missions. Kind of boring. So that's what the drop missions are. I'll see if I can find a different mission type. Maybe the other ones are more involved. So far, I've only seen uh, assault drop zone, dominion drop zone, sabotage. That's a new mission. Okay, this is a sabotage mission. The campaign missions we did, uh, that's what you started as doing. They're actually pretty decent. Hill here. We found a facility where AIM is preparing to spin up another fake arc reactor. We all know how well that went last time. We have to put a stop to it. Yeah, so it looks like um, your companions the do not level nearby. when you. Jarvis, are you companions. picking up anything? Locked on and ready, Commander Hill. Good luck out there. Yeah, we'll try multiplayer on the next mission and see what it's like. <laughs> see how good and easy the, the, the matchmaking is and stuff. There's just no way to disable microphones. An elite aim team is close by and on alert. All right, let's see here. Let's. All this gear is meh? Hold to execute dexterous sweeping K, not so enemy, make them vulnerable to additional attacks. That seems nice. Updating your HUD. <laughs> Alright, so this is one of the uh, different style of mission where it's actually an open world and you can explore it as little like. Spots to find and stuff. We got company. Might as well fight yep. you all at once. Oh, what is that gas they're throwing at me? I was like, what the hell is that? I forgot it's Kamala's arm. I know, come on, it's just like, need a hand? Yes. Head for the location on your heart. <laughs> Wish she had Kamala's powers, I know. You could like... Think of the application for powers. You could, you could grab a drink from the fridge without having to get up. You just stretch your arm out, open the fridge, grab a beer, and just there you're done. Without ever having to move. So she's very combo heavy. It's all about combos and getting takedowns. Hawk's all about smash. Oh, is it over? And if you really want to, you can actually play these missions by yourself with no AI companions if you want. If you're antisocial like me. These open world sections are way more interesting than the drop missions, which are very, very quick and not that interesting. Every member of the elite team must be defeated. Uh oh. Uh, 
Uh, was there any sort of extra stuff here, though? No. There's a point of interest. Let's go see if that, what that is before we engage the mission. I think you have to pre-order to get access to the beta. I believe that's how it works right now. Uh, when you're on your mission, you're stuck with the character you chose for the whole mission. But there, each mission isn't super long. So if you want to swap it up, you can at post mission. Oh, one thing I forgot to check is the challenge card. Is it per character? Uh, perform spider sweep or widow sting attacks. 30 of them. Uh, defeat robotic enemies with lightning fist attacks. Rescue captured hostages. Uh, defeat enemies with takedowns. What's her ultimate um, skin? Is that, what is that from? That's actually a skin that looks different. Yeah, there's a battle pass style system that's included with the game. Some spy story. I like that one in her. That one looks nice. There is a point of interest somewhere over that way. All right, it might be past those guys. Unless there's a cave or something around here that goes over there. I don't know where that is. Could be in this little nook over here. Nothing. Uh, Hawkeye is actually going to be a post-game launch DLC. All the DLCs for this game will be free. And just released over time. The Malter, the Mike transaction thing will be with the. All the DLCs are free, but they have battle passes for each character that you unlock things over time. You know, we just by playing you and doing these challenges down here, you unlock the stuff. But you can pay with real money to skip if you don't want to invest the time. That's that's the catch. So you can every, earn everything for free, but if you want to skip a little bit of time, you can just invest a little bit of the money. Guy's got so much help. Ow. Oh, I got it. Oh, no. I got to interrupt those yellow attacks with the grapple. Good job, Kamala. The team are no longer a threat. We'll need to take control of their systems. Get me to the location on your HUD. I will try. 
Um, I'm not sure. Uh, we can test it out. We're going to try out multiplayer next to see how multiplayer functions with this. And then we'll try um, if, what happens if you play single player with no AI companions. Are there less enemies? Is it easier? Does it scale down? I don't We'll find out. Get to that control point. So we'll answer our questions together. There is something over here, point of interest. Be a chest. There's an elite aim unit near you. Defeat them, and you may gain something useful. Like loot. Let's go for the the big guy. Oh, they nailed him for me. I still got it. Gamma bullet rounds. Oh, there's a room here too for loot. Um, can one of you smash this? I don't think I have the ability to. I don't have superpowers. Come on. Someone smash this. Well, fuck. That's one of those doors you just smash it, but my AI isn't going to do that, apparently. I am holding triangle. That's what happened to hold triangle. I think you have to be one of the strong people to crash that open. Maybe there's some way above to get in there. Wait a minute. What is that? Um, nothing. Yeah, this, I guess that's why I need to have friends, so that way everyone can smash open. Where did my AI companions go? Now you just need that indi indicator is for a smash door, but unfortunately, Black Widow can't smash things. She doesn't have superpowers. Enhanced human. Nope. Fine. Done, sir. Hawks is smashing everything right now. Go faster, sir. Uh 
Oh, frozen. I'm almost done. Hang in there. The Hulkbuster! The Iron Man Ultimate, that looks badass. And dead. Nice work. Thank you. I am too. Yeah, a lot of screen shake in this game. What is that? Oh, it's like a slow time thing. 